Apple showed off iPad OS 26 on a 13 inch iPad Pro, but how does it hold up on an 11 inch or even more so on the iPad mini? That's what we're gonna be talking about in this video. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start off with the 11 inch because that's the closest to the 13 inch without being the 13 inch. So right here, let's look at this window management feature. So you can see I got the glass look on here. You can see the transparent icons, but let's go ahead and start opening up some apps. Let's go open up mail, open up Safari. I got notes open. Let's go ahead, open up the Kindle app. Let's open up a Bible app. So we got a lot going on already. If you didn't get to see the video, so basically they made the iPad more Mac-like. So we have window management somewhat a little bit, and we also have not only a menu system, which I'll talk about that a little bit, but we also have those three buttons that we're so used to on the Mac, the red to close it, the yellow to minimize, and then you can kind of restructure the window with the green. So if I go ahead, I can go to full screen mode right there. I go back to it, I close it back out, it goes right there. Now you can grab on any corner of an app to kind of resize it and move it around. So it's kind of cool the way this works and how well it works on the iPad. So if I go ahead and let's see, Let's hit this icon. If you, so now in the video, they kind of showed that you can like tap and hold, I believe. But if you just hover over the green, you get those options. And that seems like a better way. So if I go to the four by four, you notice, you know, everything's visible. It's all there, but there is some overlap on everyone. I can't remember exactly how it looked in the video. I don't think there was much overlap though. So we are going to get overlap on these as soon as I tapped on this one this one actually kind of forced itself a little bigger so that's interesting to see too I'm not sure if that's just because I hit something just wrong but we also have that little flick gesture so if we come over here and we kind of there we go we flick that one to the side flick this one to the side now we got half and half and we can grab this and just move it around so all this seems to work really well on the 11 inch. So I'm very happy to see how well this is doing. It looks really good. It kind of works really well. So now you can also kind of swipe up just a little bit, hold, and you get the app expose style and also just like how you, the apps you've had open before. So that looks cool. I kind of like that as well. Tap off to the side, tap back tap out, you can go back and forth between the home screen. And then on the keyboard, if you swipe up again, it kind of just closes everything out. So very cool to see, but let's go ahead and close this up. Let's take a look at it on the iPad mini. So here is the iPad mini. This is super small. So you first thing, just so you notice, this is iPad OS 19. You know, it doesn't have the clear icons. You can set that. So all you have to do is kind of just tap and hold till they start wiggling. Hit this little edit button up top, hit customize. And now you have this new UI. It's a little bit different than what it was in the last version. So you have the default, you have the dark mode. Um, and then you have clear, which gives you that glass look. So when you're in clear, you also can have a dark mode of clear or just always light, or you can keep it on auto and then it's gonna just adjust however needed. Now, we still have the ability to dim and brighten the wallpaper right here. And then we have that ability to make the icons really big with no text below them. I'm just gonna leave it like this. So now we have that clear look. As you can see in some stuff, it's a little bit harder to read. So hopefully Apple's gonna keep making some tweaks with that and make it better than ever. Let's go ahead and get some apps open. Let's go ahead, open up Safari again opening in full screen we can just kind of tap up here maybe swipe down a little bit there we have the icons go ahead and hit that green one okay so now i have some more apps open i got the kindle app open it looks like i have the new games app open and then i have safari open let's get one more let's get notes opened again so now we have notes open let me just go ahead and click right there um so now we have all these open let's hit this button again kind of press and hold a little bit there we go and now we can hit that four by four view so you will see this is really small 
but it does work. You can go ahead. It's obviously overlapping way more than even the 11 inch was. This is pretty incredible, I gotta say. And another thing that is incredible that I have to just talk about is this case. This is a case from a company called Moft and they make it for all the iPads. I just have it on the iPad mini and it's so versatile with everything that it can do. Let me just show you a few things real quick. So you have just the regular case, but you can also open it up like I had it right there. You can have it visible, like a little kind of lifted view. You flip it over and now you have it to where it kind of hovers. And this is great for probably drawing and stuff like that. But talking about drawing, you can also pop it right there and now you have not only like a nice solid drawing area, but if I grab my iPhone right here, I'm kind of using it as a reference right now. Your iPhone can just sit on top and then you can have like a reference to draw and actually just draw right on top of there. How awesome is that? But that's not even it. Like maybe you want vertical modes. Well, there's a couple. Just kind of push out this little side right here and then it will just stay perfectly like that. But if you want a different way, you can even, there's this little tab right here that slides right in and then that gives you another vertical option. If you're interested in this case at all, like I said, it's from a company called Moft and I can actually get you 10% off. The link is down below. All right, so the four x four works pretty well. We have the menu system, you can go through it you can flick up and hold, and then you get the app expose, and then your other apps that are open. Tap in the middle, you got everything on the side. Swipe up, everything goes away. So everything works just like it did on the 11 inch. But I'm pretty impressed to see that Apple didn't really cut any corners when it comes to the iPad mini. So if I go ahead and open, let's open up a couple more apps here. Not, let's not do mail because I'm not really sure what's in there. Go back to Safari. So we're back into this view right here. If I tap here and I kind of go, well, I didn't want to go to full screen. Swipe down, tap again, go back out. And now we can just kind of grab the corners here and resize these. There we go. So the cool thing is, is you can just have everything visible that you want. It looks like you can resize things up to a certain point, but it gets pretty small, obviously, on the iPad mini. But what else is new in iPad OS that you may be interested in? Let's go ahead and get the 11 inch back and talk about the new files app. So if we go in here, we go and we open up files. The first thing you'll notice, possibly if you use the files app at all, so we now have the ability to kind of restructure and resize these in this list view. Really like this, this is really cool. We also now have the option to change what a file opens with. So you have the opens with right there. If we go to get info, you can change it to multiple different options, whichever one you want. Close that out. You may have noticed that the default is the preview app. That is also something new. So we can kind of open that up just to kind of take a look. You can annotate over stuff. You can crop and rotate and all that kind of stuff as well, which is really cool. And if we go up to the file menu, you can actually export this and change its file type, which is so cool all directly. You don't have to use Photoshop or some other image editing thing. You can do it directly from the previews app. This is something that is really nice to see that Apple has actually added to the iPad. But if we go ahead and go back to the files app real quick, we can also like, I have this airdrop folder and it's just kind of plain right now, but if I wanted to, I can actually customize this. So maybe I want to, whoop, Let's go right back in there, go to customize. So I can look through all the different things. I can even pick an emoji. Let's look, let's just pick a car for fun. So I got a little red car in there now. Um, you can clear it out if you don't like that. And of course there's all these different options here as well. Now the one thing that they showed is that you can change the color of the folder itself. Right now that has to be done with tags. I'm hoping that they actually change this. So I can actually change the color of the folder to green. And then if I close it out, you can see, I mean, it looks awesome. I really like the look of it, but I wish you didn't have to tag it to change its color. And that may be how it is on the Mac too. I'm not sure. I know that's kind of 
going across the board. So you're going to be able to do it on the Mac and on iPad. Um, and probably the iPhone will show it everything as well. So it's really cool, but that's not where they stop. So you can actually grab, like if I wanted to grab this, bring it down. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, it's not wanting to work. I don't want to put it in another folder. Let's go back up. Um, let's go ahead and just grab this and kind of shrink it down and then bring this up. So now if I grab it and I bring it down, you can actually put it all the way to the edge of the dock. So if you look right there now, now I have it to where it actually fans out just like it does on the Mac if you have a folder in there. You can see there's not that much in there, but I can just click on that. Let's try click on that. Oh, that doesn't work. So that's interesting. But let's see if I click on that. So right now it doesn't seem like they want, there we go. So now it's going opening that up it's open. Let's close that back out. But other than you got the fan option, you can right click. You can also do grid and you can change, you know, how you want it to be ordered by. There's also options if you want to remove or just show that folder in there. So there's the grid view. I kind of like this view better. And now that actually allowed me to open this empty folder. The folder doesn't even have anything in it. That is the files app. And I really like to see that Apple is doing all this. They're kind of making it to where that M4 iPad Pro is a little bit more worth its price tag. It's getting a little bit more pro. Hopefully we see other pro apps follow suit. Hopefully Final Cut Pro also gets a little bit more pro as well. But I really do like to see what Apple has done here. Are you excited about iOS 26 at all? Are you going to install it on a smaller iPad? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to see my watchOS video, it's right here. If you want to see the iOS video, it's right here. Hope you have a great one. I'll see you in the next one. God bless.